Welcome to an introduction to passive optical networking. This video is designed to help those interested reach a greater understanding of the passive optical network, its components, and its functionality. In this video, you will learn a definition for passive optical networking, the basic components of the PON system, and a brief description of the technology used to create the PON interface. In a typical local area network, computers, telephones, and other network devices are interconnected within a limited area such as a residence, school campus, hospital, or office building. To provide resiliency to the network, a complex topology of network switches and routers is used. This method provides multiple paths for data to travel through the network. This is commonly called Active Ethernet. In contrast, a passive optical LAN provides connectivity to the LAN using a centralized topology from an optical distribution point. This distribution point serves as a broad access switch with a typical reach of up to 20 kilometers. The passive optical LAN can provide a more resilient network with better security and fewer network switches. The passive optical LAN system serves as a single switch in the network. Essentially, it is an access switch. It starts with a core element called the optical line terminal or OLT. The OLT provides connectivity to the edge of the network using a passive optical network interface or PON. The PON interface is a single fiber interface that provides both upstream and downstream traffic on the same fiber using wave division multiplexing. In addition, each PON interface uses a point to multipoint topology that provides a very broad LAN interconnectivity using a minimum of equipment and transport media. There are three basic parts to the passive optical network. The optical line terminal, the optical network terminal, and the PON interface. The Telebs OLT serves as an optical distribution point of the PON interface. It also serves as the communication uplink to the core network. The OLT provides the layer two operation of the switch, establishing a forwarding table for up to 8,000 access ports. Since the OLT operates as a single switch in the network, it only requires one management IP address. OLTs come in a variety of sizes to accommodate the specific needs of the enterprise network and are expandable to meet future needs. The ONTs are extensions of the passive optical LAN switch, providing termination for the end user interface or access ports. In Telebs Optical LAN, up to 64 ONTs can share a single PON interface from the OLT, providing a maximum of 512 user access ports. ONTs come in a variety of access port configurations, with as few as two ports and as many as 48. Specific ONTs can also provide analog voice services and RF video. All ONTs are equipped to provide PoE power. ONTs also come with an assortment of mounting options. ONTs can be mounted on walls and cubicles and can also be secured in ceiling boxes and equipment closet racks. Connectivity between the OLT and ONT is provided by a single mode fiber PON interface. PON works on a single fiber port at the OLT. Downstream traffic on the fiber uses a set wavelength. When this traffic gets to the optical splitter, it is broadcast to all ONTs. ONTs will process data that belongs to the user on the ONT. Data that is not needed by the ONT is simply discarded. Upstream, data is sent using different wavelengths from the downstream signal. Each ONT sends data during a set time slot dedicated to user traffic. In this way, signal can be aggregated upstream at the splitter without collision. Splitters are a passive component of the PON interface. Splitters come in a variety of mounting options, including wall, ceiling, and racks. Splitter configurations are typically expressed in a ratio of inputs from the OLT to outputs to the ONTs. For example, a 1 to 32 splitter would accept one input from the OLT and support up to 32 ONTs. Some splitters have two inputs from the OLT to support a PON protection group configuration. 
PON operation has two protocols supported by Tel Labs, GPON and XGSPON. GPON provides 2.4 gig of downstream traffic to the ONT group and 1.2 gig of upstream traffic using the 1490 nanometer and 1310 nanometer wavelengths. GPON requires specific GPON transceivers at the OLT and GPON ONTs. XGSPON provides 10 gigs both upstream and downstream to the ONT group on the PON using the 1577 nanometer and 1270 nanometer wavelengths. As with GPON, XGSPON requires specific XGSPON transceivers at the OLT and XGSPON ONTs. Because of the greater bandwidth on the PON, these ONTs can support higher concentrations of 1 gig ports and even 10 gig multi rate ports. All other components for GPON and XGSPON are the same, including OLT equipment and the PON fiber infrastructure. This concludes this video, Introduction to Passive Optical LAN. In it, we have discussed a definition for passive optical networking, the basic components of the PON system, and a brief description of the technology used to create the PON interface. Thank you.